One of the things that is terrifying if you are not a Christian, if you are not protected by Jesus Christ, is you have an accuser. That's right. You watching this. All of us, we have an accuser and his name is Satan. Satan is going to accuse you of every sin, every evil you've done in front of God. I'm going to give you an example. There was a man whose name was Job, and by the way, I'm reading from the book of Job. And the man was perfect and upright and one that feared God. So here's a man that fears God, right? He respects God. He loves God. And there were born unto him seven sons and three daughters. And it goes on to, you know, he's very prosperous. He's got a great life. It says, now there was a day, right here in Job 1, 6, when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. Look at the phrase, sons of God. And notice it says, and Satan came also among them. So it is interesting that God can actually summon Satan and he has to come to the throne. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Like, where have you been? Like, report. Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. And it's interesting that the Bible says that Satan walks up and down the earth like a lion waiting to see who he can devour. And listen, he's accusing you. He's going to accuse you. And he's going to use the holiness of God and God's standard of perfection against you. And he's going to point out every little evil sin that you've done. This is why we need Jesus Christ. So you have protection from the sins that you've done. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth? Notice how God is being very respectful. It is not God that wants to judge you and cause harm to you. It is Satan. Satan's the one that will kill you. Satan's the one that will cause you to go to hell if you believe him and if you are not sanctified by Jesus Christ. Watch what happens here. Notice God is very friendly, very kind to Job. He's talking good about Job. He's proud of Job. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect an upright man, one that feareth God. And Job doesn't want to have anything to do with evil. Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Doth Job fear God for naught? Like, does Job fear God for nothing? Notice he's he's going to now accuse Job of not having a heart for God. Watch. Hast not thou made a hedge about him? Notice how God has protected Job. And about his house, and about all that he hath on every side, thou hast blessed the work of his hands, and his substance is increased in the land. Now watch this. Watch how evil Satan is. But put forth thine hand now, and touch all that he has, and he will curse thee to thy face. Look at the evil of Satan. Always a destroyer. There are people like that on YouTube. They don't have anything good to say. They don't want to contribute to society, so they try to destroy. And they just have hate and evil. And you could tell these people because of they work the same way Satan does. Now watch. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, all that he has is in your power. Only upon himself put not forth thine hand. In other words, he says that you can do whatever you want, but you can't take his life very first thing that happens is he makes Job very sick. Satan does this. Okay. Notice how Satan wants to destroy. 
And it is interesting that uh, Job starts getting very sickly and um, right here as you as you as God gives him permission it says and Satan answered the Lord and said skin for skin yea all that a man has he will give for his life but put forth thy hand now and touch his bone and his flesh and he will curse thee to thy face and again God says behold he is in thy hand but save his life so Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord and smote Job with sore boils from the sole of his foot unto his crown so Job has these horrible boils where he's just so painful he can't lie down you can read it but watch what happens his wife she's just kind of like disgusted with it right and she says says then his wife said unto him to Job dost thou still retain thine integrity like in other words why are you being so praiseworthy of God and she says curse God and die like in other words this is madness just I mean picture that your own wife saying that but Job's awesome but he said unto her thou speakest as one of the foolish woman speaketh what shall we receive good at the hand of God and shall we not receive evil and all this did not Job sin with his lips Job is passing the test. Go to Job 13.15. I'm going to show you what I think is one of the most phenomenal passages in the Bible of trust for God. Job knows that God can do whatever he wants. He can take life. He can resurrect it again. He could create someone out of a rock. He can create man out of nothing. He could suspend the earth on nothingness. He can create the universe. There's nothing that God can't do. Go to Job 13.15 and you read, you know, Job's friends are all giving him all different advice and stuff. And then Job, really you see into his heart here how much faith he has. In Job 13.15, let me move the Bible over here, shed some light on the subject. He says, look, even if God slay, excuse me, even if God slay me, though he slay me, Job says, Yet will I trust in him, but I will maintain mine own ways before him. It is phenomenal. So, I am afraid for those people that do not have someone to defend them, someone to protect them. If you go to Revelation, um, go to Revelation 12.7, Revel- it's in the back of the book. Revelation 12, 7, and in, in uh, Revelation 12, 7 through 12, there's a phrase where it says, Now has come salvation and strength in the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accuse them before our God day and night. Now, what they're talking about is Satan. Satan is your accuser. You know, I hear a lot of atheists, non-believers, they're always angry and talking bad about God. Well, why does God do this one? And they never once talk bad about Satan. Something's wrong about that. They need to know their enemy. God is trying to defend you and the way he does that is he sent Jesus Christ his son to live a perfect life and to follow the law and those that are in Christ are not under the law they're under grace 1 John 3.18 says those that believe in him are not condemned but those that do not believe are condemned already because they do not believe in God's son so why are you condemned already because Satan is real And you guys that are non-believers, you need to be terrified of him. Terrified. Because he is accusing you at the throne of God, and he's going to accuse you of every sin that you've done, and you will go to hell for it. Turn to Christ, John 3.18, read that, and be saved. Because the accuser is working day and night 
to get your soul.